Alright, how are we all after yesterday's Battlefield Portal excitement? I think the general reception online has been overwhelmingly positive, at least here on my YouTube channel. You lads have shown insane excitement, which is just so nice to see. There's still a lot to talk about when it comes to Battlefield Portal, and I'm sure you lads have plenty of questions that I hope to address with more videos on the topic over the coming days. In this video, however, I want to share some behind the scenes details about what's next for Battlefield 2042 and what we have to look forward to. At this point, we've seen two of the three multiplayer experiences for Battlefield 2042, All Out Warfare and Portal. But this still leaves one more. Coming from DICE, we have Hazard Zone the all-new, high-stakes, squad-based game type that is entirely new to the Battlefield franchise. We're told it is a very contemporary mode and is not just another Battle Royale. This is what DICE General Manager Oscar Gabrielson had to say during one of the EA Play Live Spotlight shows. And our second experience is called Hazard Zone. It's a high stakes, squad based game mode uh, with a lot of high tension. It's not your classic Battle Royale, it's a uh, really contemporary mode. Uh, it's also something the team has been thinking about for many years. I'm uh, really looking forward to showing it to the world. It has some really special components and it really kind of leans into the superpowers of Battlefield and DICE at the same time. So we'll show more uh, later this fall, just a couple of weeks and months before we uh, launch the game in October. Aside from Hazard Zone, we have the pre-launch world of Battlefield to look forward to. This relates to the story of the world in 2042, the no paths, the lore. The story will be told through the in-game environments and marketing material. In the months leading up to launch, EA will share more about this unique world and, of course, more details on the remaining unknown specialists. The launch of 2042 kicks off with Season 1 of the Battle Pass, and EA has expressed that each season will deliver a new specialist, new locations, along with other new content. That's four seasons before the end of the year, meaning four new specialists. They will dive deeper into their plans for live service a little bit before launch, presumably around September. Not only that, but the open beta will also kick off in September. It will be available on all launch platforms and anyone that pre-orders will gain early access. Right now, that's all the information we have about the beta. I've spotted a screenshot floating around the Battlefield community sharing specific dates for the beta, but that is completely fake. Someone has literally gone in and simply edited the HTML to make it look official, but it's absolutely not. So then, we have the closed technical test, presumably in August, an open beta in September, then Hazard Zone being revealed somewhere around there, and a lot of world building to be done, all before launch. It's just about 90 days until the game releases worldwide for everyone, so really not very long to wait at all. Of course, I'll be doing my very best to keep you as updated as possible with all things Battlefield, and let's not forget, a brand new mobile Battlefield game will presumably be shown at some point very soon as well. But anyway, thank you for watching. For more Battlefield 2042 content, tickle that subscribe button. I would really appreciate that. Until the next one, though, I'll see you guys later. Mm -hmm.